my dad went to U of M and, uh, and so there's some history there. I mainly work on wireless integrated circuits uh, or integrated circuits for wireless communication. So we focus primarily on energy constrained applications. One of the areas that we focus on are body area networks, uh, such as uh, battery operated sensors that we can attach to our ankles or wrists or chests uh, or heads, for example, uh, that can communicate with some kind of data aggregator, such as a cell phone. One exciting project that we're doing, uh, we're just starting up this year, is uh, developing wireless communication chips um, for cubic millimeter, device, cubic millimeter devices, um, so these would be devices that um, uh, are roughly the size of a, of a grain of sand or if you put them on your finger and hold them away, you, uh, they disappear. Uh, but they have the ability to wirelessly communicate with other, other devices uh, of the same size. That's a Cadillac. That's a Ferrari. Actually, this is a Lamborghini. This thing's 100,000. We get to play with all kinds of uh, interesting pieces of equipment. Uh, for example, we have extremely high speed sampling oscilloscopes that can go up to 20 gigahertz. We have spectrum analyzers uh, for looking at um, uh, wireless signals uh, or for testing our, our, our RF chips. Everything a graduate student needs uh, to conduct research in wireless integrated circuits. I teach a class that has a very big lab component to it where every week or every other week students are in the lab building and testing things. So they, they actually get to take what they do, in what they learn in lecture and apply it um, uh, in a lab situation and there really is no, uh, there is no equal uh, to actually getting uh, uh, real lab experience. What I want students to get most out of their education is, um, uh, first of all, um, a solid foundation uh, in electrical engineering, but secondly, practical experience. And I think we have a lot of good classes here uh, that give students exactly that, laboratory classes as well as uh, design classes and multidisciplinary programs and other clubs that students can get involved in, such as the solar car team. Um, all of these, I think, contribute to that practical experience that students can get here.